Economists expected March industrial output in the U.S. to rise by 0.5 percent. CNBC is reporting that the Commerce Department has released data indicating that industrial production rose 0.7 percent instead. Capacity utilization was seen as unchanged from the prior months, 78.8 percent. The pace of U.S. home construction rebounded more slowly than anticipated in March, climbing only 2.8 percent to a 946,000 annualized rate. Bloomberg indicates that February's rate was changed to 920,000, which was higher than originally reported. Economists had estimated that the number would be closer to 970,000. Housing activity was boosted in the Northeast and Midwest, but slow wage growth and tight credit as well as higher interest rates slowed sales in other geographic areas. The Associated Press is reporting that China's economic growth slowed in the first quarter to 7.4 percent compared to a year ago and down from the fourth quarter's 7.7 percent. The number matched a mini slump in late 2012 for the weakest growth since the economic crisis. The Chinese government is trying to make its economy more dependent upon domestic consumption instead of trade and export, and therefore the current growth numbers are acceptable to the Chinese government. In the past decade, Chinese economic growth peaked at 14.7 percent in 2007, driven by an export boom and spending on factories, apartment towers, and other assets. The model is losing its ability to drive growth and has left China with badly polluted air and water. Global markets seem to have shrugged off the lower growth numbers. Reporting from Millionaire Corner, I'm Heather Kiley. Thanks for watching.